Hey, this is Mike Hagan here with the Nikonians Academy. I'm here in the studio today to introduce you to the ProPhoto D1 Studio Kit. ProPhoto sent this out to us last week to test it, to run it through its paces. So I want to show you what's in the bag, how it works. Uh, as you'll see here in a few minutes, the bag contains three, three D1 monolights, or in other words, three strobes. And we also have two soft boxes, and each of those soft boxes come complete with the speed rings. So you don't need to go out and buy another set of speed rings when you buy this kit. It's all there, it's all ready to go. Basically roll up to the studio, take out the gear, start taking photos. We also have a D1 grid, a D1 uh, uh, monolite grid that's for the background or for the, uh, the kicker or the shoulder light. We have three stands, three lighting stands. We also have the D1 Air wireless remote. And if you've ever used wireless remote flash triggers before, you'll come to appreciate this from ProPhoto. It's very easy to use, it's radio and uh, we can connect to all of the different lights, control each one independently up and down. The last thing, of course, is we have the trolley bag. All of this equipment fits right into the trolley bag. We have nice inline skate wheels in the bottom. This bag and the whole kit is durable. It's tough. It's ready to take on the road. So let's unpack it. OK, let's, let's unpack this box inside. and see what's inside. Look at the lighting stands and the ProPhoto lighting equipment. Open this up. Double zipper pull. Makes it easy to open. Inside here, we've got our soft boxes, two soft boxes. We'll open those up in a few minutes. We've got our light stands here, and the cool thing is that they all come out as one tray. And then inside here, we've got foam dividers to protect everything. We'll put these off to the side. And then, as you can see, inside here, we have the lighting equipment the three mono lights, the speed rings, and the extension cords. Let's take out a mono light so you can see how it fits. So here we go. Here's one of the mono lights. This is the D1 uh, 1000 watt second light. Put on one of the light stands. Light stands are durable and tough. Good equipment. Fold down nice and tight. Fit inside of the roller bag so they just slide right here on top and again you know the, the, the word monolight means everything is connected or everything is contained inside here in the head all the control the power the generator it's all here in the head so this is the flash side of course or the strobe side and then along here on back we have the controls in a minute here I'm going to put the soft boxes on but here's a speed ring and you can see how the speed rings work Basically, they just slide here in the front, push it in, and then you flip that down, and now the speed ring's on there, ready for a softbox. So let's put a softbox on one of these. I'll start with the small one here. This is the ProPhoto softbox RFI. Uh, it's a three foot by two foot softbox. These are all very durable. I've been using them and uh, very impressed with the quality uh, the, the seams are sewn well, uh, everything is tough, it's not going to break, no issues at all. Okay, we got that put together, now we're going to put it inside the speed ring. As I mentioned, they're color coded, so here on the back of the speed ring we have blue. So we're just going to take the blue, put that into the blue, just like this. Super easy, not confusing. I like that, especially for those of you who use assistants in your photography. You can just tell your assistant, just put the blue into the blue. Good to go. All right. Now we'll put that here on the mono light. Just like that. Slide it back. And we'll do the Velcro here. Great. Now we got to put the diffusion panel in the front. There's two diffusion panels. There's the inner inner panel here, which is used to kind of soften the blow from the light. 
even more diffusion. Just for speed's sake, I'll just put the one panel on the outside. Great. Let me set up the rest of them. We'll go one by one so you can see how they all work together. Alright, the next thing I want to show you is the D1 Air wireless trigger. Comes in a box like this. And the wireless trigger here is used, obviously, to control the power output of these guys remotely. It runs on two AAA batteries and plugs into the top of the camera. Uh, it's super easy. It has channels and groups. You can control each of the groups and channels independently. You can control the output, the modeling light power. Uh, you can even make this as a transmitter or as a receiver. Very useful, very helpful. Well, let's take a minute to learn how the D1 Air remote works. Basically, it's this little, little system here. It fits on the top of your camera on the hot shoe. Turn your camera on once it's mounted there, and then turn on the air remote. The way this works is it controls all of these remote flashes, as many as six in different groups. So you can have group A, B, C, D, E, and F. You also have up to eight different channels. So you can have uh, you know, channel one, group A, channel one, group B, channel one, group C. Another photographer can have different flashes in the same studio shooting on channel two or channel three. Very cool. Now it's radio triggered, so it's not, uh, it's not like the Nikon wireless system that uses uh, infrared or a visible light to trigger. It's actually radio triggered. So to activate all of your flashes here, I'm going to push the master button on the air remote. When I do that, all the LEDs light up. Now to turn all these heads on, I hit power for the heads. In other words, I can turn the heads on and off right from this. So there we go. All three flashes are up and powered up. Hit the test button and all three flashes will fire. Excellent. Now let's say I want to change the power output of channel 1 group A. Very simple. You just push the group button here until A is highlighted. Okay, now A is highlighted. And then you push the energy button, or the, in other words the power button, here for this flash head. So I can go minus or plus. So if I want to make this flash brighter, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now each of those ups or downs is a tenth of a stop, a tenth of an f-stop. Alternatively, if you want to go one full f-stop in each push, you just hold down the button and that goes one full f-stop. So it saves you from having to push that uh, rapidly up and down. Okay, so we can control A, B, and C. I can go to B here and increase the brightness of B. It's currently at 4, and if I want to go up to two stops brighter, I need to go to 6, so I just hold down the button. 1, 2, and there it goes, 6. Now if I want to go 6.3, I just go 1, 2, 3. Excellent. All right, from here we can also turn on or off the modeling lights. So let's say here's... Uh, this is 1C. If I want to turn the modeling light on, I can do it right from here from the air remote. So I just push power on the modeling light and there we go. Modeling light now turns on. Excellent. Turn the modeling light off. Easy as that. So that's it for now for the D1 air remote. Easy to use. It's foolproof. I've been using it now for about a week. I love it and I know you're going to love it too. Thanks.